Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, the Flicker98 here again, and it's time for a random update video for the month of uh, July, July 24th, 2011, which I got four Disney VHS tapes. Two of them I got yesterday at the thrift store. The other two I got about a month ago, which I forgot to show you, and I got some 45s here. I got brand new 45s, so... I'm going to start off with the VHS tapes. First is, this is a 1990 VHS of Peter Pan. Uh, everybody has this tape, including the Chris 8 4 8 and Aubrey S. 1987, Martin S. 5 1989, and a bunch of others has this tape. Yeah. Very happy that I got this today. I got this at a thrift store, a store yesterday. Yeah, we got the spine. You can see the character profile, Peter. The back, two thumbs up. You feel Peter Pan is your age, no matter what age that is. This is Colin Ebert, and you can see this is the first release here. Here's the tape with the ink label, and you can barely see a print date, but I can see it. There is a print date on this tape, but I need. White. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, April eleventh, nineteen ninety, is the print date. April eleventh, nineteen ninety. Of course, the case is in pretty good shape for its age. Yeah, very happy that I finally have the nineteen ninety VHS of Peter Pan. And still, Peter Pan's an excellent movie. Next time I watch this movie, it will be on this tape. Alright, up next, we got the 2003 Special Edition VHS of Sleeping Beauty. The very last VHS of Sleeping Beauty that was released. You can see there's the THX logo at the side. Uh, spine. The back. And Walt Disney himself says, of all the stern legends of the triumph of good, good over evil, none has ever been so inspirational uh, to me as Sleeping Beauty, says Walt Disney himself. And special features, fully restored, remastered, all new music video performed by hip-hop group No Secrets and THX Certified. THX ends the first release. Yep, here's the tape with the dark sticker label and the blue lid. And the print date is from July 11th, 2003. I'm going to have to watch Sleeping Beauty again. The next time I watch Sleeping Beauty, it will be on the, uh, it will probably be on the 2008 DVD. And, uh, after that time, 1986, and this will be next. Alright, here's a Walt Disney Fantastic Adventures series. Of Swiss Family Robinson. I got this about a month ago. I have t taken the liberty of watching this movie on the Hallmark Channel, and it's actually very good. Sorry. Back, no credit review, but yeah, yes, yeah, Swiss Family Robinson. This stars uh, Haley Mills' father. It's pretty cool. Keep the ink label. The print date's from November seventh, two thousand one. So it's a reprint. Of course, the tape is not fully rewound. I'll okay, rewind it soon. It's still, Swiss Family Robinson. This is still a pretty good movie. Check it out. In the last VHS now, I have another 1991 VHS with the Sword of Stone. Now, why do I have another copy? Well, my other copy that I got last year from NWB 1989 had an ink label. This copy right here has a sticker label. And the print date on here is from September 6th, 1991. And this copy is actually more rare. Well, it has the same previews as the 1991 VHS. Next time I watch The Sword in the Stone, it will be on this tape. And those are it for the Disney tapes. Now we'll go on to the 45s I have here. And first off, I'm going to start off with this one I got. This is a Frank Sinatra 45 of... Three coins in the fountain. This is a nineteen. Uh, this is a nineteen ninety 
no, not 1991. What am I talking about? Uh, pressing itself. I'd say this pressing is from like from the 60s, mid 60s or so, or early 70s. I don't know. But I am going to reshow my 45 collection soon. And once I do, I'll probably post it in all in one video here, side one. And, uh, and the flip side one, the flip side is raining, falling from the skies. Pretty cool if you like Frank Sinatra. This is a pretty good one. So yeah, check this out. Up next we got a Bruce Springsteen 45. This is... Born in the USA, I was born in the USA. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good song. And like I said, I am going to reshow my 45 collection very soon. I can't wait. This is a 1984 pressing. There's that side, and the flip side is shut out the light. If you like Bruce Springsteen, you would like this 45. Pretty cool. There was a bunch of others, but I didn't get a chance to get them. And this is this next 45 is from Martin S5 1989. Well, these next two actually are from Martin S5 1989. This is a Beatles 45, and this is Paperback Writer. Yeah, that's a good song by the Beatles. If you love the Beatles, this is that one. The flip side on here is Rain. Under the star star line label. Good 45 to own. This is a Paul McCartney one. This is not uh, the Beatles one, but this is a Paul McCartney one. This is O Woman, O Woman, O Y by uh, Paul McCartney. And flip side on this one is Another Day. Yeah, it's on the Apple label, as you can see, which they used that for the UK releases of. The Beatles, so yeah, this is good. And the last two on here, this is for well, the other two. These next two ones are for Chris from Brooklyn. If you love this one, here it is. The, these next two are Elvis Presley 45s, and this one is Elvis Presley. Are you lonesome? Are you lonesome tonight? <laughs> Flip side is I gotta know. Good one. Here's another Elvis. This was featured in the MGM movie release of Jailhouse Rock under the same title. This has Jailhouse Rock, which is another song. I will be posting this soon on my Flickr 98 channel when I get the chance to do that soon. Here's side one. The other side has Treat Me Nice. And the last one is a Led Zeppelin. 45 and this is Hot Dog produced by Jimmy Page flip side Full in the Rain there you go those were my random updates for the month of July 24th 2011 and hope you all enjoyed it and you'll and stay tuned for my next video